So yeah, welcome back to another episode. Today, he's gonna be taking this tractor. I already started walking. I'm gonna catch up with him, but what kind of, what kind of adventure are we in for today? That's his house. That's his house in the lake, right? Right there. Yeah. So we're right here. We gotta go diagonal that way. Okay. Yeah, you go. Oh my gosh! Did I just scare a big fish? That's what you do is when you go up to these docks. I'll pull the, I'll pitch it to where I want to go and I'll pull the rod back for a quiet entry. I scared a big fish out there. Right there. First bass of the day. Chatterbait. Boom, baby. First bass of the day. On the Thunder Cricket, little guy, and he's cold. But I knew I'd find one eventually. All right, got him. Oh, that was a good, oh, that was a good bass. There's another one, man. Good looking fish. Caught two, missed one. Let's keep it going. Look at this. Watched him eat it. Oh, on the chatterbait and I almost fell. First fish of the day. A bass on the bruiser. All right. Striking thunder cricket. Thought I had one right there. Got him. Came back for it. That was cool. That's a good fish. Or maybe he's just fighting hard. <laughs> Here. Better fish. Cold too. We're gonna have to talk about the bait here in a minute. 
another decent fish, man. So again, in the last couple of videos, people were asking about the baits, the liplesses and the chatter baits. This is actually a Strike King Thunder Cricket in the half ounce size. It's a bruiser color. Uh, it's a Strike King Rage Craw trailer in the blue bug. Again, the bait's a half ounce, 16 pound fluorocarbon with a Shimano Corrado K, six gear reel. Caught a couple fish. See if we can get some more. That's another thing too, is I'll take a old, an older bait, like this Thunder Cricket, I fished with it all last year and it's absolutely destroyed. You'll see that the, that the eye is missing and a bunch of other stuff. Well, sometimes the fish really like that. They do. Look at that. On the stop and go. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pull a drag too, that's a good one. Oh, that's big. That is big. That's gotta be a, yeah, that's a three or a four pounder for sure. Oh yeah. Say three pounds, 10 ounces all day. Go ahead and zero the scale. Well, I got a lip grip on there, zero the lip grip. I'm gonna say three pounds, 10 ounces. You got three pounds nine ounces three pounds nine ounces what a fish man look at that and I, another thing too is for a chatterbait and a lipless i like a longer rod because that's going to help you with a longer cast kind of doing a stop and go lift retrieve not really doing a steady retrieve today see that smoked that's another good one it's got to be Boom, there's another three pounder. Something like that. Another two and a half or a three. Yeah, two in a row. I bet you that's two pounds, 12 ounces if I had to take a guess. Something like that. Go ahead and zero the scale again. You got two pounds, 13 ounces. No, 212. 213, 212. Right on the money. Just about, I thought it was. Man, what a fish. Oh, that wind picked up. I should get another one. Was that, was that a 
Yep. On the fall again. Quick release right there. Probably like a pound and a half. It's all good. What, did I cut myself? I sure did. Now that one, I almost, it almost hit the bottom. It was just about on the bottom. So that's interesting. That's an instance where I should try a jig. Let that bait fall and lift and they're either going to hit it on the fall or when it, or when it comes back up i told you there we go oh yeah another fish man Not as big as the last two, but that's fat, man. Fat fish. Fish hitting chatterbaits on the fall. Can't beat it. Take a look at that thunder cricket. Show you that. I don't know why I talked about it and didn't show you. You'll see how the eyes on it are all beat up. Skirts all torn up. Blue bug trailer. As soon as I say that, I get it tangled. Another thing too that we can add into the video so it's not just fish every time we upload because I have a lot of those videos is I get asked how much tackle do I carry when I fish do I keep anything in the car no I carry a rod for a moving bait a rod for a jig over there and the springtime is when I will carry the most baits that's when I have my chatter baits crank baits liplesses flat-sided crank baits and then I'm going to actually take out a brand new chatterbait just to switch it up. Uh, another Thunder Cricket. And then the other two boxes, all I do is I carry this, plastics, and then I have a box for terminal tackle and hooks. Oh, and of course your GoPro case, but terminal tackle and hooks. Open this box and a box for jigs. That's what I carry when I'm fishing inland lakes. Now, if I'm fishing the Great Lakes or St. Clair and I'm gonna switch it up and go for smallies, I'm gonna carry jerk baits, tubes, other stuff. I have some jerk baits with me, but I don't have the bag fully set up for chasing smallies. But anyway, pretty sure you guys get the point. I carry what I need, and the springtime is when I will carry the most moving baits, the most baits, because that's when fish are active, especially up here in Michigan. We have a crazy, crazy pre-spawn. If you've never experienced it, I encourage you to come up here whether it's the inland lakes, the mini inland lakes, or the Great Lakes, it's it's one of the best states in the country to catch fish. We don't have the giant Florida largemouth that a lot of you guys like, but we got just about everything else. <laughs>